Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at the strobe light effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways to use this. One as a light, one as transparency. It's incredibly easy to do. Let's have a look. So I've got a clip here, thanks to Kurt Pear for this wonderful footage. And I want to have a strobe light flashing effect over top of this guy. In my effects, just type in strobe light. Oh, there it is. With that selected, double click, and I've added that effect. Now when I go back and play this, you'll see a strobe light. Pretty boring. Let's go have a look at the settings in here. First of all is the color, so we can change the color that this strobe light is. You can either pick a color or click in here and make a change. So now it's strobing red every single time. You can also set the blend with original. So instead of completely obscuring the video, it's going to blend in at 100% you don't see anything. And then at uh, a different percentage, you'll actually see this. So let's change this. So you can use it as not obscuring the video itself. The timing, we've got duration and we've got period. This can be a little bit confusing. The duration is how long the flash is and then the uh, strobe period is how long the next one is with this timing. So it's this and that together make that duration. If you make the second number the same as the first number, thinking that I want a half a second flash and a half a second duration, it won't see anything because it ends at the end of the flash. You want a half a second and a half second, so that's one second of the period and a half a second duration. That's the default here, one half second, one second between those. And then you can have random probability. So this is how random that uh, changes. So if I crank this up, it's not going to be the same half a second. It's going to be flashing all over the place. And how much that's random is based on that. So you can see as I crank that random up, it's going to be quite crazy. So I'm just going to leave that all the way down. Um, you also have the option of changing this to mix transparent. We'll get to that in just a second. You can also change the operator. Think of these as blend mode. So by default, it's copy. And if I go through these, you'll see it makes different changes, especially with that red. It's going to make it look quite different. So that almost has a painted kind of effect. So every time it comes up, it looks like that. Um, and darker minimum screen, all of those kinds of things that you would expect and then a random seed number at the bottom. You gotta remember that computers are exact, so when you tell an effect to be random, uh, it's going to be the exact same random every single time. It's, it's, it's not random like you would think as a human random. So oftentimes you'll see an extra number, um, and this is just a variable number often called a random seed. So when you change that number, it'll, it'll affect the calculation of the randomness um, of the randoming. But let's use this in a different way. Let's use this to blend two clips together. Imagine that we have to intercut between two fast clips. And we're going to go from video track two, V2, V1, V2, V1, V2, V1. And we want to chop that up in pieces. You can use the same strobe effect for that. So let's go have a look over here. So this is now the exact same numbers, half a second, one second. But we're now choosing makes transparent. So here's V2. And when I turn that off, that's V1. So it's going to be flipping between those two. What if I sped that up? So let's cut these in half. Instead of uh, 0.5, I'll do 0.25. And instead of 1, 0.5. Now, oops, 0.5. Now everything should be twice as fast. So what if we wanted to change this over time and make it faster, make it faster? Well, hey. We got keyframes. 
So let's do that. Let's go to the beginning of this clip and let's take this back to 0.5 and 1. And we'll add keyframes. And then let's go to the end and let's change this to 0.13 because we can't do 1.125 and 0.25. So let's look at this. It should start speeding up. Whoa, pretty cool. We did that with just four keyframes over time. Here's another technique. Let's use the exact same clip on V2 and V1, but the, the bottom one is flipped horizontally. I'll show you what I mean. So here's the, the top clip, and there's the bottom clip, and it has a flip on it. So if you go to your effects and just type in flip, you'll see a horizontal and vertical flip. So I've just got the bottom one flipped horizontal. Now let's look what happens. Wow, what I love about that is I didn't have to chop this into pieces. I just dropped that on and, and I can change the number. So if somebody says they want the timing to be different, I'll change the timing and it's faster or slower or as, as showed before, you can keyframe the difference. Wow, this is a huge time saver. A great way to, to just drop in some cool quick effects uh, without having to you know key, uh, chop this up into a bunch of pieces. That that bottom layer when we make transparent doesn't have to be an image. It could be shapes, it could be patterns, it could be clouds, it could be kittens, it could be whatever you want. It's pretty cool, I love this effect, and I think that you can probably use this to speed up your action-paced footage. All right, hopefully you found this uh, informative. If you did, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, go over and join us on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.